I'm in Manila, a culinary destination I love because in this city, food is a serious pastime. I'm thrilled to be visiting with Chef Margarita Flores, who just so happens to be Asia's female chef for 2016. I am so excited that we're cooking with this pot again. I know, it, the palayok is back in action. So what are you making? Well, we're doing our short rib adobado, which is my take on an adobo that has a little bit of brown sugar to finish it off, so you get a tad of sweetness, since I come from sugar country, from Negros. But the proof is going to be in the pot, so okay. how do we start off? We have some nice boneless short rib. When you make adobo, is it always beef? Well, actually, the traditional adobo is a combination of chicken and pork. They now do it with lamb, with beef, adobo with squid. Wow. Yeah. But we're starting with beef here. Yeah. So very easy. We combine sugarcane vinegar with a lot of garlic. I put it all in one bowl together with the soy. So these are the three main ingredients for the braising. Put it on the beef. And then you take a handful of black peppercorns. Again, a generous handful. Yes. And maybe three to four pieces of floral. Those are very Western ingredients. We use it a lot in our cooking as okay. well. Just crush them ah. and put them on top. Then just a tad of water, just to add to the braising liquid. And then the pot does everything else. How can you tell it's time to add the sugar to the adobo? Well, actually, you'll see how the meat is braising. See if it needs a little bit more water. And then that's when we can add the sugar. So that's like my take, coming from sugar country. But adobo, you must have grown up with adobo. My grandmother used to make adobado at home, which was a sweet version of the adobos. And we used to spend summers there, um, living in a house that was by the sugar mill. And that's where I learned how to cook the rice under the house in, a, in an earthen pot. So great memories. Mm. The aromas have really changed. The garlic's still there, but the vinegar isn't as strong. Right, it's, it's cooked out a little bit. I think we can add the sugar now. Okay. So this is a muscovado. I love muscovado sugar. It's almost like caramel when you cook with it. Then a little water just so that continues to braise a little bit more. Okay, I think we just need another 15 to 20 minutes of cooking and it should be good. But we have one that we did a little bit earlier and this is how it looks. It is beautiful. I love the gloss and the shine. Oh, nice. Now, how do you serve this? Well, we have a, a nice bowl of heirloom rice here. We should just scoop up some of the adobo. Ooh, and then you've got that oil. Mm. Yep. Then, of course, adobo is always enjoyed with samachara, which is a, a pickle made from raw papayas and a little bit of bitter gourd, the ampalaya. And, well, my little take on this is I added some of nata de coco, which is like a coconut jelly. So this pickle will cut the richness of, this of the of the Ooh. Of the braise. And then fried garlic to garnish. Skins and all, I see. Yes. And finally, just a bay leaf to top it off. And here's the short rib adobado. My take on the adobo. I hope you enjoy it. Oh, I certainly will. I'm not eating this alone. I'll okay. share it. We'll share. Let's dive in together. Mmm. It's got an intensity to mm -hmm. it, but like good comfort foods, you finish a bite and you can't wait and to have another one. another one. Mm. Try it with the pickle. Perfect, right? It cuts through the richness of the adobo. Kind of like the watermelon did on for your the, soup. For the sinigang. It is just absolutely spectacular. And you know what? You've given me so much to think about. I've enjoyed learning about oh. you and what just puts the heart and soul into these classic Filipino dishes. Thanks for coming to visit us. It's been a real blessing to be able to share it with you.